I mean, when I'm looking this stuff up, trying to figure out if it was there or not, some of this stuff price pretty high. <laughs> but I don't know anything about it. So it's just a little bit of work, yeah. I would hate to sell one of those. Somebody come back and go, they didn't have all pieces of it. Bloggy flip. Morning, how's it going? Pretty good, have a man. Pretty good. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure grab a flyer for uh, oh, okay. those are all our dates for next year. Awesome, thank you. Give me a short track watch. Thank you. Thank you. If you're interested in that, you could go as low as 85. 85? Okay, thank you. Good, how are you? Awesome, man. What's going on with you today? Uh, just seeing if I can find anything I can't live without. Step on back if you want. Right on. Uh, I haven't yet. There's a $6 admission fee, but again. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, first Obi Wan. I was like, that's a nice yeah. enough copy. All of them I got a 9 2 of uh, number one. Right. The 42 was that grade. Yeah. Got a lot of them that were nice. It's pretty cool. I thought since Obi Wan series was coming up, I thought that might yeah, be a little good, a cool book to get slapped. <laughs> that's a neat one. <laughs> I don't like slapping many books. Mm -hmm. I really don't, but certain ones I would oh, just, sure. yeah, yeah, it'd be cool to get. <laughs> Gotta try. Well, I had that first Green Goblin too, that, that was kind of important to slap. Right. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> All right, buddy, I'm going to think about that one. Thank you. You mind if I see the turtle comic? Thank you. Would you go 90 on it? Yeah, I can do that. It's too cool. Thank All right. you very much. Thank you, sir. Cool pictures. They are cool. Did you have them printed? Or? No, no. No. They're they're five bucks each. Okay. Three for twelve. Right on. They get miscellaneous as they go. They start out with the horror and sci-fi and and stuff, and then they get to be TV. And then oh, some okay. of those are like these are like original ones and stuff. Huh. And I got a set of the Choosing Sean from the second movie. Oh, that's cool. A set of ten. <laughs> So that's pretty good. One, so. Yeah. Do you have any uh, GPK or anything? Garbage Pail Kids? Uh, like, and I didn't or, bring them. No? I usually bring them. The last two times I brought them, they just sat. So really? I bring them this time. Oh, that's crazy. So I was only trying to get so many cards out. Right. I don't like leaving those behind. All right. on. I'll, I'll bring them the next time. All right. I'll make sure to check back. Thank you. you make it easy. Get you. Oh, thank you, bro. Before you drop that watch <laughs> or something. Else. Appreciate that. Or that. Appreciate you.
All right, I'm gonna get your Ewoks number one here. There you go, sir. All right, thank you. Appreciate you. Care if I look at the Star Wars one more time? I'm sorry, sir. You care if I look at the Star Wars one more time? Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're looking all of us 300 to 40. If you want it for 265, 270, it's all yours. They are selling up to 300. Yeah. We don't want to be the top guy either. I don't right. want to charge up to, hey, I, I want you to come back for me. Yeah. So. I'll do 265. Done. Cool. Yeah. Two seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> what's your store? I'm sorry. Uh, what's your store? I don't have a store. Oh, okay. You just We're do just yourself. traveling buffoons. I <laughs> cool. We've been at so many shows this year; it's been insane. Like I said, I don't want to be the high guy. Sure. Out there, but I, every time I do this, everybody comes. Oh, I gotta get a better deal. On right. And no, I appreciate so it. Try to go. Okay. What is the average price tag? And that's what we try to do. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Fine, awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to look through any of that. Okay. I tried to. Uh, Inventory it, but sure. I couldn't make heads or tails out of it. <laughs> a so, lot of stuff like that. If, if, like... You, if you want to take the rubber bands off, look inside. A lot of them are bag to board or bag where I tried to keep all the tokens that okay. I found together. So okay, thank you. I'll give you my email. Hey, man, this book, whatever, what's fucking And if you're interested, I'll do 30 bucks for all that old stuff. 30 bucks for everything here? Yeah. Make sure that we got this one, this one, this one, that one. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, 30 okay. bucks. What's that one, too? And that one. Deal. Awesome. Can't pass that up. I mean, when I'm looking this stuff up, trying to figure out if it was there or not, some of this stuff fights pretty hot. <laughs> but I don't know anything about it. So it's just a little bit of work, yeah. I would hate to sell one of those. Somebody come back and go, they didn't have all pieces of it. Well, I don't know. I'll take that gamble. 20, 25, 30. Thanks, Thank you, sir. sir. Appreciate it. I'm going to leave it there and keep looking around I'll for a second. I'll back here. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's the best stuff I have, bro. It's just not the second. I don't like the glossy stuff. I just like the Alright, buddy. I think I'm set. Thank you so much. I, got, I found you a box. Oh, they appreciate almost it. Almost all fit, but not quite. Good enough. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Do you have any room at all on that one? Would you like 80? I was going to say 90. How about we split it at 85? Deal. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Alright, so I am back home from the Knights Hall Comic and Toy Show. First time I've ever been, it was definitely heavier on the comics, not quite as heavy on the toys. I'm personally more of a toy guy, but I do have an appreciation for comics as well. So I did enjoy it. I'm, I'm excited about the stuff I was able to find. From what I understand, they have shows uh, several times a year in Indiana and Michigan. So I'll link their website down below in case anyone's interested in checking them out in the future. But 
I do recommend it. it. It was a lot of fun. I spent a lot more time there than what I showed, just admiring decades and decades worth of uh, cool old comic books. But I mean, let's be honest, you can't go into a place like that with a classic reseller mindset because uh, you're going to leave empty handed. So I went there with the intention of maybe finding stuff for my own collection, maybe find stuff to invest in for the future and to possibly get lucky on something that someone didn't want to deal with. And all three of those things actually happened. So I'm pretty excited about it. But real quick, let me just show you everything I picked up. I'll explain why I picked it up and what I plan on doing with it. All right, so here's the haul right here. I think all in, I'm at $493. And I think I'm going to make a big chunk of that money back on this stuff here. So we'll get to that last. But first of all, I did get a few smaller things like this uh, Spock watch. Just thought it was cool. It was it was 15 bucks, which I assumed was pretty close to retail on it. But I uh, just kind of wanted to get the ball rolling, and get some money going. Kind of loosen up my wallet a little bit. From that same fella, picked up this Ewoks number one. Not a gradable copy, but not in bad shape by any means. Has a really nice cover on it. Uh, pages aren't exactly white or anything, but it was $8, and uh, that's still a really good deal on, on this book. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, these two comics here are for my personal collection. This is a run of comics that I actually have an interest in collecting. It's the uh, volume one from Mirage Studios of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the uh, 1980s. I got book nine and book 15. They were both marked at 100 apiece. They're both graded 9.0s. I ended up getting number 15 for 90 bucks and number nine for 85 bucks. Pretty close to retail, but like I said, these are for my personal collection, so I was, I was excited to find them. Uh, probably in the future, I'm gonna look for raw, nice examples of of the rest of the comics for, from this run or else it'll just get way too expensive but it's just stuff that i've had an eye out for for a while uh, and, and i was excited to finally find some and then we have star wars number two another book that was kind of on my radar first appearance of chewbacca and han solo as well as obi-wan kenobi who does have a standalone show coming to disney plus next year so that's kind of why i've been looking out for this book graded 9.2 it's currently every bit of a 300 dollars comic uh, which is what they had it priced at totally fair price but he did give it to me for 265 which I was happy to pay. Um, anything under retail, I was I was going to grab it. So that's perfect. Anything higher than a 9.2 seems to escalate quite a bit on the value. And there's other variants, like a 35 cent variants that are actually more valuable also. But I'm happy with the 9.2. I'm going to hold on to it for a while and see what happens. I've never been much of a comic book investor. Um, and this may lead to nothing. I may actually lose money on it. Who knows? But um, I was happy to try it out and kind of see what happens. Like I said, no intention of selling this right now, but we'll see what the future holds. And then we have this stack of weird old strategy games. I've bought stuff like this before. He had these priced at 10 bucks a piece, and I believe there's eight of them, so that would have been $80. But he mentioned that he tried to inventory them, but uh, I know exactly what he means. That's These things are super hard to inventory because there's so many little cardboard pieces. So before I was even done looking at him, he dropped the price to 30 bucks for the entire stack. And that was definitely worth the gamble. A lot of times on stuff like this, even if you dive into some of the sold comps, people just basically lay everything out, take a picture and say, uh, make sure you zoom in on the pictures because that's what's included. I don't know if it's complete or not. I've actually gone that route myself before. It turns out fine. If it does happen to be missing a few, it, they're usually little easy things to replicate, like little pieces of cardboard, so it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, like you just have to be honest about it and up front and uh, let people be the judge. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with uh, most of these. Turns out that a couple of them are unpunched, so that actually helps the value quite a bit on a few of them. Basically have three bucks and change into each one. Uh, these are all for resale, and I'll put up some comps. First, we have Belter. This has comps between $30 and $40. We have Outreach that has comps between $60 and $150. We have Blood Tree Rebellion. Um, it has one comp for $20. It was an auction, but the ones that are listed are, are quite a bit more. We have Fifth Frontier War. Not a lot listed, but there is one sold comp for $123 on auction. Berserker is probably the least expensive. It looks probably the newest. Uh, has one comp for $20. We have Azanti Lightning. This one's actually in really good shape. Just the box um, has some has some damage on it, but it has comps between $55 and $100. We have Star Force Alpha Centauri, comps between $25 and $30. And lastly, we have Imperium, Empires, and Conflict, uh, comps between $60 and $75. For $30, this was definitely worth it. I understand exactly what he was saying, that he knew that they were valuable, and he just, he basically didn't want to mess with them. So um, eventually, these should get quite a bit of this money back. It should help my collecting fee a little bit as far as what I bought for myself, and it reduces the risk of this little investment. So not bad. Not a bad day. Like I said, I'll be back, and I'm definitely going to try out more shows like that in the future. 
All right, so that's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.